everyone and welcome to this tutorial. Today we will simulate a static repose angle test in ANSYS Rocky. We will obtain the angle by manual and automatic methods. So let's get it started. Click on the new project icon and save it accordingly. On the study section, write some notes involving the setup of your model. For physics, ensure that gravity is enabled and change the option as shown. We will include the adhesive force and the rolling resistance model. Now import the geometry files in STL format from the folder and select millimeters as the input unit. Then drag and drop both geometries into the workspace to visualize them. Use the mouse option to rotate, pan, and zoom in and out. The cylinder moves vertically upwards. The translation motion is the default option, so define the range of time, the velocity, and its direction. I also recommend to preview the motion before running the simulation. Modify the material properties as desired. Notice that in this model we only have particles and boundaries. For material interactions you must specify different data. One of them is the parameter named force fraction. It is required for the constant adhesive force model, as this force is equal to the gravity force multiplied by the force fraction. It's time to define the particle size and shape. We will use spheres, but you can select a different option. The rolling resistance is a parameter related to the concept of rolling resistance moment based on the full mobilization rolling angle. Set up this value accordingly. You can visualize the particle by clicking on View. Here we must use a volumetric inlet. Let's see why. The cylinder moves vertically upwards and the particles are released. However, if we use a particle inlet option, we will see separated particles, which doesn't fully fill the space. Then we need to define the seed point from which an amount of particles will be created. Four parameters are required in the setup. First, select the particle we created before and set the target mass. The gap factor is one by default. Now the boundaries and the coordinates. Finally, visualize the seed point. The solver options include the simulation time, the time step, which can be kept as default, and the number of cores. Now run the simulation. Check the results using the bar or by selecting a specific time in the set of time steps. First, we are going to obtain the static angle of repose using the manual method. Plot the particle coordinates in Y and X using a cross plot. For this, select the final time step. Let's take this picture for the analysis. Draw a tangent line over the particles on the left side. 
if we plot the Cartesian component, the triangle has these values with the proper scale. Now use a trigonometric function to calculate the angle. Repeat the process for the right hand side. By taking the average, you see that the static angle of repose is 39.62 degrees. Now we are going to compare this result with the one calculated using the automatic method. For this approach, we will use a Python script. Load the file and finally, you will see a picture like this. 36 volumes are created to capture the particle distribution. The results are averaged to create the regression lines. Rocky generates a folder containing the results, that is, the graph, the data, and the regression line information. And that's all for today. Thanks for watching. Thank you.